Hello, welcome to Table Captain Training by Poker Atlas. My name is Ian, and today I'm going to teach you how to schedule a tournament series. There are two reasons to use our series functionality in tournaments. The first is with a standalone special event, such as a large guarantee multi-flight, and the second is for an actual multi-event series. Today, I will show you how to set up both. If you have not watched the scheduling a tournament video, we recommend you do so now before continuing. Scheduling a standalone multi-flight. Starting from the Table Captain main menu, navigate to Tournament Maintenance. Once you have opened Tournament Maintenance, adjust the date range to make sure that you have captured your entire event, including the restart day. Scroll over now until you find the field labeled Multi-Flight. You will notice the checkbox immediately to the right is labeled Restart. So let's check that day two is a restart at the bottom of our list. Next, we are going to double click in the multi-flight field for our first flight to bring up the multi-flight link button. Clicking on the button that says click to select will bring up the multi-flight link button. The steps for this window start by selecting the date that our restart is on. In this case, Sunday, June 5th. The drop-down list will now populate with all tournaments that day so you can select the restart tournament. Once you have made the correct selection, hit link, and the current selection box at the top of the screen will populate to confirm. Last but not least, change your flight display to current tournament for your day ones. For your restart day, you will follow the same procedure except for the final step. Select your restart day, link the tournament to your restart. However, in flight display, instead of clicking current tournament, you will want to click All Tournaments so that it pulls information from every day one. Now we are ready to set up the special event in the system so that our app displays all information correctly when players go to find the tournaments. Scroll over just a little bit until you find Event Name, Event Number, and Event Type. A few notes here, it is very important that you use the same event name for every day one and your restart. If you use multiple event names, our app will create multiple special events. So your best bet is to copy and paste the event name from day 1A into all of your remaining days in your restart. In the case of a standalone multi-flight, you will use the same event number for every day and the restart. Last but not least, you will want to put series as the event type in order for the app to display everything correctly. Take note that this is a required step in order for our app and website to display your multi-flight event 100% correct. If you leave this out, some days may be missing on the app in your schedule. Scheduling a multi-event series. Starting from the Table Captain main menu, we are going to navigate to Tournament Maintenance. There is a series scheduled at this property starting on June 6th and set to run for two weeks, so I will change my date to look at the whole series. In this example, all of the tournaments are scheduled and any multi-flight tournaments are already linked. So at this point, all we have to do is set up the event itself and the event types for each individual tournament. Start by picking a name for your series event. In this case, we're going to call ours the June Poker Classic 2022. It is important to include a unique piece of information if you plan to use the same name again in the future. In this case, the year serves that purpose. I have moved forward to when I had completed labeling each tournament with the series name. We can now go ahead and start numbering events and labeling event types. Make sure that you scroll to the left from time to time to make sure you are not mislabeling events. Our series will start with two side events before jumping into event number one, our progressive bag bonus event. Make sure that every day, including the restart, is labeled event one, and make sure to differentiate between side events, series events, and satellites as you're labeling. Continue to label official events, and remember to label any satellites with a satellite type so that it displays correctly in the app 
when players look at your special event. We have now finished labeling our series, and can now click the Upload button to send our series to PokerAtlas.com for approval. You should now be able to schedule single and multi-event series for your property. Thank you for watching this Table Captain training video. Stay tuned for exciting new features in the latest in training videos.